the Gaelic language. Gaelic language is one of the oldest languages. It's an Indo-European language and it's thousands of years old. Nothing was written down. So it was all about memorising and the oral tradition would go down. So Baal Ages is the knowledge of the storyteller. And that is crucial in Irish culture, that stories are told and told. And you have the storyteller is the Shanachi and the poet. Din Shanachas is the lore of place. So you kindly explained why this has its name, the coconuts and the, the river. Everywhere in Gaelic Ireland is explained by its name. As we were colonised, the country was renamed. And the renaming kills the story. And this is a colonial objective to take our meaning away from us. We must reclaim the original names and we must get people to use the names and understand what they are. Major elements of Irish folklore are the sheep. We call them fairies, but they're not fairies. Fairy sounds like Tinkerbell and Disney. <laughs> <laughs> That's not who they are. The Shi are the people of the mans, and one of them was the Thuha de Danan, or the people of the god Dana. And these were little supernatural people, and you didn't mess with them. When humans came, there was a war, and the Shi lost the battle, which meant that they had to disappear into nature. They live in the undergrowth, they live in the rivers, they live in the waterfalls and the caves and under the rainbows. But their job is as protectors of the environment. And if you mess with the environment, you will get an environmental punishment. And to this day, there are places in Ireland, hundreds of thousands of places, that are associated with a particular the blackthorn tree, fairy paths. Do not mess with them. You cut them down at your peril, and people won't do it. And if you bulldoze that down, it's not there for the next generation. There is something in tradition that was always protecting the water, and the air, we knew which plants we needed. And now we're having this whole environmental revolution where everybody is talking about going green and it's been there forever. The people knew in terms of both looking after the environment and themselves, spiritually, mentally, in terms of healthcare. Everything was there in the traditions and the customs. So I think, thankfully, a lot of people are looking back that way at it now. So you feel like you're on the crest of a wave and people are really open in ways that they might not have been, you know, at the, the sort of height of capitalism, everything was all about the money. And maybe it was COVID, I don't know, but we seem to be in a more generous space for being open to those things.